Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know, A to the L to the I to the Z to the E. And it's all on me. And we back with your daily dose of Legend Z, okay? Where we talk about motivation, success, and much, much more. All right? Growth, etc., stuff like that. I'm going to get that intro right, though. But uh, I just woke up. As you can see, my hair is... I didn't do my hair. I didn't do none of that. It's been a lot of, like, fire, so I'm not really too comfortable filming out because my uh, my sinuses start acting up and stuff like that. But I want to uh, jump into this video and say, look, y'all, all this morning I was watching nothing but motivational videos. And the topic is feed your mindset. Be aware of what you feed your mindset. I've been doing nothing except watching positive videos motivational videos okay we had motivational videos of jim Rohn. i watched zig ziglar i watched ayanna van zant um earl nightingale i watched a lot of motivational videos but the one thing that was really sticking out to me was so much that i was feeding my mind and that goes within the subconscious okay the subconscious beliefs, what you feed your mind. And also, I'm still on my affirmations. I actually recorded my own voice of my affirmation so I can put it on repeat and hear it over and over and over and over and over again. But I not only recorded my affirmations for my manifestations, but one thing that really um, inspired me was when Ayanna Van Zant said, do a 40-day challenge for 40 days and write out 40 things um but describing yourself using i am so i wrote you know i'm gonna share that with y'all in my next video okay but i just wanted to say be aware of what you feed your mindset be aware of the music that you listen to be aware of certain things that you're feeding your subconscious beliefs oh uh, your subconscious beliefs your subconscious, okay? I know I made a video on that, but the reason this is important is because I've been binge watching mo like motivational videos. Um, I'm starting to get back into my reading too. Uh, I read about 10 pages. I did not go for 30, <laughs> but I am reading Emotional Advantage over. I'm gonna read the. Uh, I'm gonna read this book and then I'm gonna um, finish the book with why we want you to become rich with Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki because I really feel like that book has a lot of interesting topics that it's going to talk about and um also a lot of things was standing out to me about um you know recreation activities that we like to do what makes us happy things that we can enjoy in our everyday lives and stuff like that and this is something that I enjoy doing and I realized this so for many years, I have been that kind of person to be so negative, like I was mentioning to y'all before. And I used to always look at the bad things. OK, I may not be where I'm where I want to be yet in the real the reality of things. But I have a very big feeling that my life is about to change. I've been having dreams of being successful. I've been having dreams of having a lot of money. I've been having dreams about, you know, everything that I'm, I'm manifesting. And, you know, I feel like a new birth is coming along and I'm going to be rebirthed and I'm going to be like this new person, this new version, because I've been being more humble and being more optimistic about things, even though you know, I may not have a, uh, uh, cause I want to start working pretty soon for security, even though I may not have a job yet and stuff like that. I'm not looking at the downside. I'm just like, you know what? I'm still getting creative. Okay. I'm still able to do things that I want to do on the side. And even when I do get my job, I'm not going to be thinking just to just work just for minimum wage, but I'm going to be thinking of, I'm going to be working so harder on myself and becoming that better version of Alize outside of work. You know what I'm saying? The work that I'm really doing is this. The work that I'm really doing is behind the scenes. When I'm at home in my room, when I'm researching, when I'm listening to motivational videos, I was listening to Les Brown today. He said, you know, listen to more videos. What are you doing? You know, um, what are three, three things that you want to master? You know what I'm saying? I want to master the art of speaking. 
okay? The art of teaching, and I want to master becoming an author. Now, those are three things that I want to master because I did say in my last video, I'm currently writing a book about my life. And, you know, at first I wasn't going to because it might seem I'm young, etc. But honestly, I really decided that I want to have a story out there. You know, and it, it when I write about this story, I want other people to understand that we all have some type of connection. We're all looking for a way. Everyone wants to be successful. Somebody out there wants to, you know, actually become somebody. OK, and you're struggling and you're going through it. But let me tell you this. There's always going to be someone out there that's going through the worst, worse than what you are going through. And that's why I'm looking at the upside of things when certain things I may not have, even with money, I'm still affirming. I, I am a multimillionaire. I bring in millions and millions of dollars. I'm affirming a new reality for a, creating a new belief in a state of consciousness to shift so I can be able to feel better about myself and just love what I'm doing. You don't have to be. Stop trying to be happy. Stop trying to say, I'll be happy when the bills are paid. I'll be happy when COVID-19 is over, when we out of quarantine. Find a reason. Happiness is within you. Find some something that does make you happy. Even if it's just doing what you love, hanging with your family. I'm not talking about buying clothes and going outside and doing. No, find happiness is within us. Something makes us happy. We just got to look for it. What, what is it? Actually, I don't even think happiness is something you look for. I feel like it's already something we have. And it is a skill that we have to work on. I'm not telling you that you're going to be happy 24-7. But what I am saying is what you do want to do is you want to be optimistic and you want to look at things from a new perspective. These things, I've been watching these videos and I'm still going to keep watching these videos even tonight to feed my subconscious, to jot down new information. Not to take away information from other people, but I'm taking information into my subconscious because I want to feed my subconscious new um, and improved and better things. I want to read more books. I don't want to be out here listening to rap music and stuff like that. No offense, but certain artists and certain music I don't listen to because it has too much violence. It has too much murder. It's not feeding me. It's not feeding my subconscious. It's not feeding me in a positive way. It's not giving me any positive feedback. So I want to say be careful what you uh, 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 are feeding your mind because it is very important. I just woke up from like hours of sleeping and I was just listening to uh, my affirmations over and over again on repeat. OK, and honestly, remember, if you are affirming, don't just only affirm just because you want your specific person. Don't just only affirm because you want that that new improved car or job, whatever you're affirming for. Please affirm for yourself. OK, I wrote down 40 things and I found 40 things that I like about myself using I am. And that's an everyday thing that I'm going to start doing, okay, because that is something that I want to improve on. I want to be able to have that love within Alizé. This isn't because I'm just trying to, I'm not saying throwing self-love out there. You, I'm, I would never tell you you have to have self-love to manifest. What I feel is you do have to change the concept, the conception of how you view yourself. Take it from someone who not only had, has suicidal thoughts at times, but also take it from someone who's been through a lot of changes and experiences in their lifetime. I don't care if I'm young. My age does not decipher. I don't care. I can reach anybody who's 40, 50, 60 years old. I don't care. At the end of the day, my age does not decipher my intelligence, and that's just what it is what deciphers my intelligence is me okay and the skills that I implement and the new ideas that I am uh looking forward to and applying on an everyday basis I told myself from now on this is something that I really am doing I've watched about like five or six motivational videos and I've gotten a whole thing one uh, uh, a specific thing that's really in common with them is positive feedback for your soul Honestly, I just might name this positive feedback for your soul, because really, I'm gonna give it to you 100 percent. It's not even just only about the whole is it is about your thought process. A lot of people think that it don't start with the thoughts. It starts with the thoughts. You must change your thought process. And when I watch these motivational videos, they give me more encouragement. They give me more resilience and they make me want to persist in things that I'm doing. So please do not. Uh you know, continue to feed your mind and, you know, continue to, I'm not saying stop listening to y'all music. If you want to listen to whatever you want to, I'm not telling you that, but I'm saying for me, as for me, 
certain people I don't certain people I listen to. I listen to Young Pharaoh because I like Young Pharaoh's music. He's really cool. You know what I'm saying? I listen to music that has a message. Now I used to listen to music that was, you know, making me feel just was giving me negative vibes and making me feel negative. It wasn't making me feel positive. So certain people I listen to, certain people I don't. You know what I'm saying? And my whole thing is, um, like I said, when I really get into these books. You know, I really am working on mastering my speaking skills. I want to stop cursing because I don't want to be one of those, you know, speakers that, that curse and stuff like that. But I'm not a motivational speaker as of right now. But I'm saying like far as like cursing, you know, I don't think that's really good. I'm trying to limit that. So my whole thing is positive feedback for you. So and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm going to drop one today, another one today. And I'm going to give you all the 40 things that I found that I liked about myself. And I decided to write down on a piece of paper. And then, um, like I said, you know, that's what I'm, I'm going to start doing. I found that video and I was like, dang, this is really deep. You know what I'm saying? And I started listening to a new uh, meditation called Goddess State and stuff like that, just to feel good about myself as a woman. And feel good and know that I've been the type of person that's always been, I want to put that person on the pedestal. I want to love that person. I remember I was watching a video of Peace Dealer. He said, why don't we imagine people doing something for us, a person loving us? We always imagine us doing for others. What if we imagine something for us? And that's not being selfish. That's just looking at it from a different angle and a different perspective. You want to actually imagine imagine and do that too I've, i imagine that that made me feel so weird to actually visualize uh 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 the the woman of my life the woman that i you know plan on marrying in the future or someone i really you know whatever the case may be to me a picture like a partner doing for me because i've been that type of person to serve people serve people and no offense i don't mind doing it i like to help others 